Gods and goddesses, lay witness to the greatest of your kind, matched up against those with the average lifespan of a Rice Krispie. My name's Anuki, and this is Smite's Top 5 Plays. Athena is questioning the purpose of this fight, and it's good to ask those sorts of questions. There's nothing to be gained here, so she runs off with Persephone. Red Team isn't done with them though, Mercury charging a sonic boom trying to mask their presence and who is hanging out with Athena and Persephone, this ain't second life, this is smite! What a rush, triple sonic boom in the room! Poseidon conjures a whirlpool through space and time, Persephone gets an Aegis up so they'll live a little bit longer, Anubis comes out punching Dark Bacon, dashes out of the way and out of range, comes back swinging through the portal and kabam! A small win, but a good one nonetheless. Yeah. I'm pretty amazing. Ulla is being chased by Ishtar, and you've got to be careful of the dueling potential of Ulla. It's the axe. Change that devastating combo. Ishtar jolts forward, but not into Ulla like they want to. So Snow blinks their way in from the cross map teleport and takes out the immediate danger. But the threat level has just doubled. Al Wong observing in the distance whilst Naja gets stuck in water, blink, clone, wild storm, dead Ulra, there's no time for proper sentence structures. The Al Wong senses danger unlike Naja. As we zoom out, you can see they are about to get thoroughly surrounded, four on one, they'll use wind fire wheels to be gone. Straight into Morgan Le Fay, getting slapped hard in the back as they continue towards the tower, stunned against the wall, and on the other side of that wall, Chiron summons that massive red tidal wave, they don't see it coming! It won't save Najar, but it will let Alphon blast Mercury with the power of Water Dragons. Are they going to wriggle away? Not from an Execute. Up we go to watch Blue Team flee in what I assume is terror. Going for Susano and heading into a 2v2 jungle support mirror match. Susano low on mana and seems to have run out of fight in them. Kumba uppercutting too late to make a difference. Onishu takes a big nap whilst Ender R3049 wraps up. This play. Take a nap yourself, Kumba. I bet you'd like that. Behold my power! You dare defy the will of the underworld! Hunter battles between Jingwei and Ra. Persistent Gus starts off the flinging of arrows and bolts. Shots penetrate through minions, and the trade was slightly more favorable for Ra. Way brings it back, doing well for two levels behind. They stick around to find some more in ranged melee. Ram unleashes their ultimate astral barrage. Hit on one, miss on two, and three. Thor is here, slams a wall down. It only stops Jingwei right in front of an arrow. That's unfortunate, but fortunately, Jormaganda ready to replace them. Athena assisting Mr. Maybe, who almost had Thor. Athena's going to take care of that. Now Mr. Maybe has to survive against the world's cuddliest serpent. Do they have what it takes to finish Mr. Maybe off, or do they have a trick up their sleeve? Or a Zeus? Mr. Maybe rolls out of the lightning storm, Athena will tank it out because they're a hardcore support, whilst Mr. Maybe adds to their killing spree. You will regret getting in my way. Godsirma waiting for a victim, blinking and blocking. Artemis absolutely overkills it. There's a team fight over in mid lane, using those wings to fly with the Smite World Championship Monument. A single execution set goes down. Everyone knocked away from back as Godsirma unravels themselves from Anubis' rep, shuffles through the death gaze, and silences back as once a brawl, rolling as I've into Anubis for a quadrant kill. Humbats wants to live! But that sadly doesn't align with what Godsirma wants. Let the harvest begin. Red Team's on the fire giant, and Yanis passes a stealth check or something, hides behind a pillar, and waits for their shot at a steal. We'll be waiting a while for that opportunity, though. They don't have the patience for that, so they'll take a shot at Discordia instead. Repositioning with a portal, Unstable Vortex rips a chunk out of them and helps with the fire giant. Red Team are committed to getting this fire giant, and they'll have it now to take Yanis. Loki blinks in, swing in, but the blades couldn't find any metal flesh, space, and time. Oh, you blinked in at the wrong time, Aragni. Obliterated! That's making Red Team reconsider, and Scotty's here as backup. Loki runs face first into a vortex that terrifies Sobek. Scotty hasn't made an impact and already has to back off. Gordio porting into range. This one's just for you, Sobek. Got him! And her and Discordia split up, so at least one of them will live. It's a good plan. Discordia erratically dives through the middle of a vortex. It looks beautiful! Gordio blinking away, turns around, avoiding some unruly magic, looking to line up another vortex. Let her rip! A 
absolutely frightening display of power. Oh, hold on a moment. Anther's not back at base yet. Are you saying there's a chance? We just need a portal through. Here we go. Oh, the one that got away. Next time, you should be more careful. I want to see your plays. Check the video description for a link to submit your own featured plays earn gems and the top five plays avatar. If you were featured, contact me on discord.me forward slash Toki or join us guys, gals and non-binary pals to chat, chill, group up and enter some of the giveaways. My name's Anuki and I hope to see you soon.